Hello, I'm Lelda Smits for the Finance News Network and joining me from AdSlot is non-executive director Quentin George. Quentin, welcome to FNN. Thanks for having me. You've held senior positions in some of the world's largest media buying organisations, including Interpublic Group in the US. What do you see as some of the key change factors impacting the way media is bought and sold? Well, there are a couple of trends. Uh, First is that brand marketers are spending more money in digital media. Uh, The second one is how they're buying that digital media has changed dramatically over the last five years. Uh, More and more brand marketers and their agencies are using uh, programmatic media buying platforms to enable those transactions. Now, building trading technology for buying media programmatically is a key focus of the ad slot business. What are your expectations for growth in this sector? So there are three key reasons why brands, uh, brand marketers as well as publishers use programmatic media. The first is it's dramatically more efficient and effective to buy and trade media programmatically. The second thing is that it gives, um, it gives publishers incredible amount of control over how that media is provisioned, how it's uh, traded and ultimately how it's delivered. Uh, And lastly, it also unlocks an incredible amount of data inside of the enterprise so that brand marketers continually be more relevant to their audiences. Now, the company is also aiming to progress the integration between AdSlot and the Symphony technology it acquired last year. How is this progressing? So we've had the first phase uh, in this last uh, six months. Um, Great traction. We've seen first time customers come to the platform. We've also seen repeat uh, buyers come to the platform. Uh, And we think in 2015, as we go into the second phase, we're going to see even greater adoption of the platform. Right. And what outcomes are you targeting from the integration? So the tricky thing is when you try and build marketplaces, you have to nail two things very, very importantly. You have to nail the buy and supply side at the same time. And so, you know, our intention is with the second release to get much more liquidity into the system so that it makes the, powerful more, more, it makes the platform more powerful for both buyer and seller. AdSlot has this year tied up a number of partnerships and collaborations. What have been some of the highlights for you? We've had interesting traction this year. Some of the highlights for me was on the supply side, we signed up Microsoft Advertising, which I think is one of the more, uh, one of the larger uh, suppliers of media in the world. Uh, and on the buy side, we've also partnered with uh, a company called MediaMath, that's one of the largest uh, representations of uh, real time, but it's uh, demand uh, in the market. Now, AdSlot's two largest direct competitors were recently acquired by US company, the Rubicon Project. How do you see this development impacting AdSlot and more broadly, the industry? You know, it certainly validates the sector that we're in. Um, But what I'll add is, you know, we're in the early phases of automation. This is the first three or four years of a very, very long process. And so there's going to be plenty of opportunity for multiple companies to be successful. And we feel very confident in the platform that we're building. Uh, and we think it, uh, it offers a, a superior uh, set of inventory and a superior set of workflow tools for clients. And finally, Quentin, what are the company's main priorities currently? And what milestones will AdSlot be aiming to reach over the current 2015 financial year? So three things. The first is we'd like to continue to build the coalition on both the supply and demand side. Uh, The second thing is that we're aggressively trying to uh, get a migration of our existing Symphony clients or customers onto the new platform. Remember, Symphony represents about $2 billion worth of uh, of demand. It'll be great to see how we can deploy that across the entire platform. Uh, And then lastly, AdSlot is working very aggressively to get uh, direct relationships with brand marketers and agencies. So that'll be our focus for the coming year. Quinton George, thank you for the update from AdSlot. Well, thanks for having me.